Dear students, now let's take a look at the important prepositions of place. Imagine we are talking about places of residence. Okay, when we speak about places of residence, if it is a country, then the preposition used is always in. Okay, they live in India. The black buck is an animal found in India. Okay. they have settled in australia so whenever we speak about countries it is in the same preposition in is used when we talk about big cities so when we are speaking about big cities also it is in he lives in delhi she works in hyderabad okay so but what if we are not speaking about a big city what if it is a a small village or a small town if we are speaking about a small village or a small town then we would use the preposition at okay he lives in hyderabad and works at amirpet okay why at amirpet because amirpet is not a big city it is only a part of a city okay so the same case applies when we speak about small towns okay if you are given the name of a, a small town then also you have to add at before the name of that small town or village now he has gone to spend time dash the seaside can you fill in that blank there whenever we say seaside it is always at okay so this is one thing which you should remember whenever we say about we speak about seaside it is at the seaside hmm? now what happens when we speak about places of residence like buildings there are different kinds of buildings like palace bungalow house mansion etc so for all this only one preposition is used and that is in the king lives in a palace the businessman lives in a huge bungalow she lives in her new house so in all these cases a single preposition is used it is in but what happens when we speak about streets streets or lanes in this case the preposition used is at okay he lives at number 10 baker street he lives at house number 602 begum pet okay so when we speak about lanes or streets or when we are speak when we are giving the address he or she lives at so and so address okay in this case it is at and when it is buildings it is in so this brings us to the end of the discussion on prepositions of place dear students so as i told you in the beginning the unfortunate thing about prepositions is that there are lots of prepositions and each verb 
different verbs take different prepositions so it's not possible for us to discuss all those verbs and the associated prepositions in this class okay it's beyond the scope of this session so what i would like to do now is to discuss some of the common errors which students make while using prepositions okay this will be just a short sample remember anyways let's try discussing some of the most common errors here we have before us 15 sentences and each sentence contains an error in the usage of preposition so let's find out what those errors are look at the first sentence we should not let terrorists attack against our country okay here the error is in the preposition against because the verb attack is not followed by any preposition so this preposition against is unnecessary here the right sentence would be we should not let terrorists attack our country there is no need of the preposition against next as soon as they entered into the room they heard a scream okay so here the problem is again with the preposition into which is unnecessary okay enter can be followed by into but in a different context you can say that india entered into a treaty with pakistan so when you speak about agreements treaties etc then entered can be followed by into but when you enter a place then into is unnecessary when you are speaking about a place a room or a building or any other place then we say entered a particular place there is no need of into so to correct this sentence we have to remove into and say as soon as they entered the room they heard a scream next one he informed to the police about the robbery here what is unnecessary is the preposition to you don't inform something to someone you simply inform someone okay the right way is to say he informed the police about the robbery so to is unnecessary next the animal resembled to a cat this is same error here we have the same error which was there in the previous question something resembles something else they don't resemble to anything so the right way is to say the animal resembles a cat okay not resemble to but resembles a cat next she accused me for cheating her okay we never accuse someone for doing something but of doing something so accuse has has to be followed by of so instead of saying she accused me for cheating her you have to say she accused me of cheating her next the teacher was angry against the naughty student okay angry is not followed by against but in this case it has to be followed by with okay you are angry with someone and or you can say angry about something but never against okay so in order to correct this sentence we say the teacher was angry with the naughty student next the medicine will cure you from cough okay this is one of the most common errors made so a medicine does not cure you from a disease but of a disease so here we have to correct this sentence by saying the medicine will cure you of cough next we have two sentences i put them together because the error is associated the, the error is similar in them bread is made of wheat the dress is made from cotton okay so if you take a cursory look at these sentences you won't find any error these sentences look fine right but the error is that when a substance is converted when we do something to a substance so that it becomes an entirely new new substance 
then the preposition we have to use is from okay when we make bread from wheat is bread the same as wheat no bread is something new right it is completely different from wheat so in that case we will have to say bread is made from wheat but look at the second sentence the dress is made from cotton so the dress is made entirely of cotton right what we are doing we are just changing the form of cotton are we creating a new substance no we are not we are making the dress by weaving cotton right so we cannot say that exactly that a new substance is formed we are just changing the form of cotton so in that case we use of and not from so in order to correct this sentence we have to say the dress is made of cotton okay next the little boy was pleased from his new bicycle okay here we are trying to say that the little boy was happy about his bicycle in that case instead of using from the right preposition to be used is with the little boy was pleased with his new bicycle which means the little boy was happy about his new bicycle now i prefer coffee than tea this error we have already discussed in another session okay so when we say prefer instead of using than we have to say to okay i prefer coffee to tea okay not than but to i prefer coffee to so to tea next it was sam who told to me about the incident can you tell me what the error is the error is this is that told is not followed by to okay it was sam who told me about the incident okay because told means said to told itself means said to so when you add another to to it then one to is extra it's unnecessary so told alone will do no need to say told to a beautiful lady was sitting in the help desk to help visitors okay you must have seen that we have information counters and there people will be sitting so they don't sit in the desk in the in the desk meaning would mean they are sitting inside the desk so we know that is not the case they sit at the desk okay so a beautiful lady was sitting at the help desk and not in the help desk his advice was helpful for me can you tell me what the error is yes the error is obviously we know in the preposition for but but what exactly is the error the error is that yes we never say helpful for we say helpful to okay his advice was helpful to me and not for me it is to me his advice was helpful to me next i do not have the courage to compete against such an experienced player okay so whenever we use compete okay we should remember that it is not compete against someone it is compete with okay we we might tend to think that because a competition is happening one person is against another person right that is the way our thought process goes but in this case it's wrong when we use compete the preposition preposition which goes along with compete is not against but with finally he always listens music before going to bed here we have omitted a preposition okay we don't listen music but listens to music okay what is omitted there is to so we listen to music and not listen music all right so what i attempted to do was to give a sample a sample of oh, what we can call a vast ocean of prepositions okay so prepositions will come to you automatically if you practice more and more okay so i was just trying to give you certain guidelines regarding prepositions i hope it was helpful thank you friends